there's a lot of new things coming out about gout. Uh, as you mentioned, there is an epidemic of gout now. It is probably um, one person in 20 to 25 who will develop gout. There's almost 4% uh, of the population who has gout, and there's an even higher percentage of the population, perhaps as much as 20%, who have high levels of what are called what what is called uric acid. These people have hyperuricemia. Uric acid is a waste product of the body, a normal waste product, and people who have gout have higher levels usually of of this uric acid. People who are overweight have higher levels of this uric acid. And there's a direct association between the amount of this uric acid that you have and your likelihood of getting gout. So what we have found out now is that not only are you more likely to have gout attacks, arthritis, which actually in some cases can even lead to damage in the joints, but also having hyperuricemia or high levels of uric acid by itself, even if you don't have gout, is a risk factor for developing heart disease. So as we're learning about this, we're learning too that we need to be a lot more attentive to the levels of uric acid, to managing those levels, to reducing the levels, and to reduce then the, pos the probability of a person developing heart disease as well as the probability of developing gout. The way we diagnose gout is a combination of the high levels of uric acid in the blood, although not everyone has exceptionally high uric acid levels when they develop gout. And, it's a, uh, and we look at the joints that are affected by gout to see if there are crystals that are formed by uric acid. Now, we have a new technology for detecting these crystals using a special type of CT scanner. And we're going to be presenting research from Mayo Clinic at the ACR conference about this new technology. The traditional way that we diagnose the crystals is to put a needle into a joint and take some fluid out of the joint and look at that fluid under the microscope. That's not always successful. With this new technology, we have learned that we can actually see gout crystals when they have formed and know that a person has gout crystals in the joint so that is, I think, that is, I think, a real advance in our understanding of how to diagnose and manage gout. There are also some new drugs that are out for the management of gout, both drugs that can be taken by mouth as well as IV drugs for people who have extreme cases of gout.